Hey guys, and welcome to this introduction to roof framing. And so for this example, we're gonna be using a SketchUp model. And so you can see we have a blueprint here showing the different parts of a standard roof. And you can see how they lay out in this model. So starting with the ridge board, our central point here from the top, it's going from our front of our structure to the back of our structure. And you can see that it's tied in with gable studs. So the gable studs are going from the bottom of the ridge board to the top of the double top plate on our front of our structure. And you can see that it would be on the same on the back of the structure. Now, tied into our ridge board are our common rafters. And so our common rafters are parallel to each other. You can see that. And you can see that they are also tied in to our top plates. So it goes from the ridge board down to the top plate and it's connected to the top plate using a bird's mouth joint. And so you can see the bird's mouth joint here in a color picture. And you can also see it here when we scroll in looking at the corners. So you can see that they're cut out into each of these studs or into each of these rafters. Now, connected to the rafters, we have our ceiling joists. Now, our ceiling joists are cut to meet the requirements of our measurements, right? So we have an angled cut here, and it's going from one side of the structure to the other side, and it would be nailed directly into our rafters. Those do two things. One, they give us some additional stability, and they're also making sure that our rafters stay in place. Now, connected to the ceiling joists, we have some struts the struts are laying on top of each of our ceiling joists and they are also supporting the structure by being connected and giving additional support to the ridge board now as we go around you can see we do have one cable tie now the cable the collar tie sorry the collar tie is being connected to our rafters from one side to the other that just gives additional structural support to our structure as well now as we look around here on this example here on the picture, the only things that we are missing off of this picture are the underpurlins. And the reason why we don't have underpurlins or additional struts on our model is because our rafters are not over 12 feet long. Normally, if the rafter is over 12 feet long, you would use some type of underpurlin to give additional support to that center of that rafter. Now here, as we scroll around, you can also see that we do have sheathing on top of this structure and the sheathing is gonna be corrugated metal. And so that is all the parts for your structure, for your roof components. So now we're gonna figure out what our pitch is. And so as we scroll out, you can see that we have some pitch information. And so we're gonna scroll up, we're gonna read about this and read about how to ca calculate for pitch. So the pitch is the angle of the roof calculated by the number of inches it rises vertically for every 12 inches, it extends horizontally. So the vertical rise compared to the horizontal run. For example, a roof that rises six inches for every 12 inches of horizontal run has a six and 12 pitch. So for this example right here, we have our we have a couple measurements. So we have our we have our rise. Our rise is going to be 2.4 inches, and so it actually comes up to two in two two feet, five inches. But when you do the calculation of dividing your inches by 12 to get the decimal, that's how it comes out to 2.4. So we would take five divided by 12, it comes out to 0.4. So 2.4 times 12, because we're multiplying times 12 to get that foot calculation, even though it is already in feet, we're multiplying times 12, comes out to 28.8. Now we're dividing that by our run. So that was the rise. Our rise is 2.4 times 12. And we're dividing it by the run, which is the number, which is the calculated distance from the center point to the edge. And you can see that our center point to edge distance is four feet, nine inches, which when you do the decimal calculation or conversion, it's gonna be 4.75. So 28.8 divided by 4.75 equals 6.8. 0.06 inches. So our pitch for this roof is going to be 6.06 .06 in 12 pitch, meaning that the roof rises 6.06 .06 inches for every foot of run. So why is that important? Calculating the rise to run gives us the angle of the roof, which lets us know 
couple of different things. The angle of this bird's mouth joint, it's going to let us know, do we need additional scaffolding if we're going to be up on this roof? Uh, and also, will that roof give enough pitch or angle to let rain or snow uh, come off that roof easily instead of being staying on that roof for a long period of time? So that is your standard roof components, and that is how to calculate pitch on a standard roof. Now, that, remember, this is just a simple roof. It doesn't have the different types of rafters. It only has the common rafters. That will be for another lesson. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later.